So in this video, we are going to uh, discuss some examples, example problems for uh, finding the first derivative of a trigonometric function. Okay, so in the previous video, I have discussed uh, the formulas that you need. And for this video, let's apply those formulas to uh, solve the derivative of inverse trigonometric functions. Okay, so first we have uh, y is equal to arc sine 4x. And uh, we have to identify that in this case, the uh, 4x is your u, okay? This is the u, 4x. Okay. So what is the derivative of uh, inverse of uh, arc sine uh, u, okay? What is the derivative of arc sine u with respect to x? And uh, that would be equal to the derivative of u with respect to x uh, all over 1 minus u squared okay so let's apply that formula here so we'll now have y prime equal to so again i said that uh, 4x is your u by now you can already uh, mentally do that what is the derivative of 4x that is simply 4 okay so for the sake of ano uh, step by step solution we first write the derivative of 4x in the denominator uh, in the numerator and then in the denominator we have 1 minus 4x squared okay so the derivative of 4x is 4 divided by 1 minus so let's square that that is simply 16x squared okay so that is already your answer for the first derivative okay so let's go to problem number two Problem number two, we have y is equal to arc tangent x over a. So again, let us be clear that uh, our u here is x over a. So if we are to apply the derivative of uh, arc tangent, arc tangent u, and the formula for that is uh, simply the derivative of u with respect to x all over one plus u squared. Okay, so y prime is equal to so the derivative with respect to x of x over a, okay, and then all over 1 plus u squared, so x over a squared. So keep in mind here that a is constant, okay, so the derivative of x over a is simply 1 over a. Let's simplify the denominator, we'll have x squared over a squared. So we have here a... Uh, we have here a uh, sort of a complex fraction so just recall your algebra so in the denominator you'll have a squared plus x squared uh, all over a squared so you'll have 1 over a times get the reciprocal a squared over a squared plus x squared and we now have our final answer which will now be, of course, we have to cancel uh, a, a from the denominator and we have uh, also a squared, so cancel yan. So let's remove the a squared here. So we have a over a squared plus x squared. And that would be my, that would now be your final answer. Okay, so let's go to problem number three. So for problem number 3, we have uh, x is equal to arc sine 1 minus 2v. So again, this is what we do with the other problem. Identify your u, 1 minus 2v. Okay? You can also get the derivative of that, no? para mas madali. The derivative of 1 minus 2v here, with respect to, in this case, you will have with respect to v. Okay? With respect to v would be equal to negative 2 okay so next uh, what is the formula the derivative of arc sine that's the formula that we will apply the derivative of arc sine is equal to the derivative of u with respect to x or in this uh, just just the formula no so we all know that uh, i'm just discussing the uh, general formula that you will use 
Okay, so all over the square root of 1 minus u squared. So if I will apply that here, I'm getting the derivative of x with respect to v. Okay, so the derivative of my u, I have already solved it. So that is equal to negative 2. And then for the denominator, I have 1 minus the quantity 1 minus 2v squared. So it's just a matter of uh, algebraic simplification. So it's a 1 minus 1, uh, 1 minus uh, 4v, okay, applying the binomial formula. And then this would be 4v squared. Okay. So negative 2. So imagine you have here 1 minus 1, right? So that will be cancelled. And the 4v here would be uh, positive. 4v minus 4v squared. Distributing the negative uh, 1 outside of the, uh, outside, of the, outside of the parentheses. So you can still simplify this. No? You can uh, factor out 4. So we'll have uh, v minus uh, v squared. Okay, actually we can factor out. Let's, uh, factor out 4v. Okay, so we will have 1 minus 1 minus v. And then let's get the square root of 4. So that would be 2, right? So you have 2 in also in the numerator. So what would be left there is uh, simply 1 okay so negative 1 over square root of v times 1 minus v okay so let that be our final answer so let's go ahead and uh, answer a uh, a more complicated problem we have problem number 4 y is equal to uh, quantity 1 plus x squared, close quantity, arctangent x uh, minus x. Okay, it should be minus x, not, not minus 1. Okay, so let's just make it uh, minus x. Okay, so here we will not apply the uh, directly the derivatives of inverse trigonometric functions because we are dealing here, here with the, the first term, which is the derivative of a product. Okay. We have y prime is equal to 1 plus x squared times the derivative of arctangent x plus arctangent x applying u dv plus v du. Okay. Then derivative of times the derivative of 1 plus x squared. And then the derivative of negative x is simply negative 1. So we have 1 plus x squared derivative of arctangent x. So we know that uh, first we'll get the derivative of u, so that is 1 because it's x, and then over 1 plus x squared. Then we have uh, arctangent x here, multiplied by the derivative of 1 plus x squared, so that is uh, 2x, so minus 1. If you will observe, we can cancel here 1 plus x squared, 1 plus x squared, and we would be left with 1. And we also have 1 here, so 1 minus 1 is 0. So therefore, our final answer for uh, the deriva first derivative is simply 2x arctangent x. Okay? So let's go to uh, problem number 5. We have y is equal to x arc sine x plus the square root of 1 minus x squared. So, to get the first derivative, we have the derivative of a pro product here. So, we have x derivative of arc sine x plus arc sine x arc sine arc sine of x derivative of x with respect to x. Okay? And then the derivative of uh, the derivative of the square root or 1 minus x squared raised to 1 half okay so I do this first for you to be familiarized with the process okay but if you are already familiarized with the getting it uh, straight then okay na 
you don't have to go to that step anymore okay so we have x derivative of arc sine x so are you here is one so the derivative or are you is x so the derivative is uh, one and then we have the square root of one minus x squared okay so we have here arc sine of x then the derivative of x with respect to x is one so i don't need to write that and then here we'll use uh, the general power formula so one half times a quantity 1 minus x squared which is negative 1 half then derivative of 1 minus x squared is uh, 2x okay so we can cancel some uh, terms here 2 can be cancelled out okay so next we have x over the square root of 1 minus x squared if I will write this uh, here now we'll have negative x minus x because of the negative and then the square root of 1 minus x squared as well because this is negative so this goes to the denominator okay so plus arc sine of x so we can clearly see that these are similar terms so that is equal to zero if you subtract them and final answer We will now have y prime is equal to arc sine of x. So final example for derivatives of inverse trigonometric function. We have y is equal to arc sine x over a plus square root of a squared minus x squared all over x. So we have y prime. Oops, sorry about that. We have y prime is equal to so we now know how to uh, uh, solve the derivative of uh, inverse trigonometric function. So we will go ahead and uh, do a shortcut. So we have the derivative of u is 1 over a and then square root of 1 minus x squared over a squared. Okay. And then here we have the derivative of uh, a quotient. So if we will apply that, we'll have v which is x and then derivative of our uh, u so we have one half a squared minus x squared raised to negative one half and then derivative here is uh, negative two x okay and then minus uh, a squared minus x squared raised to one half and then derivative of x is uh, one okay so this is all over a squared so the first term we have 1 over a let's get the lcd here we have a squared and then uh, this will become a squared minus x squared and then plus so let's go ahead and write x squared and then we'll have here we can cancel 2 no? and then we have negative x squared times so let's just, just do negative x squared all over the square root of a squared minus x squared okay so minus the square root of a squared minus x squared so this is a matter of uh, algebraic simplification okay so we have 1 over a here we can factor out uh, 1 over a squared and then if we apply square root and then that simply be 1 over a okay so in the denominator, it would simply be the square root of a squared minus x squared. Next, here our LCD is uh, a squared minus x squared. Okay, so we have negative a squared, uh, x squared, and then minus, this will now become quantity a squared minus x squared. Okay, so here we cancel out this one so we have 1 over the square root of a squared minus x squared so plus so here look at this guys no? so we have x squared and then this will be this will become positive x squared so that would be cancelled out okay and then what would be left there is a simply negative a squared so all over square root of not all over a squared over 
square root of a squared minus x squared all over x squared. Let's continue simplifying. We have 1 over the square root of a squared minus x squared. Then here we'll have uh, negative a squared all over x squared times the square root of a squared minus x squared. Okay? Lapit na to guys. Then our LCD here will actually be x squared times a squared minus x squared combining the two fractions. Okay? So what we'll have here is... Uh, x squared minus a squared. In the numerator, if I will uh, factor out the negative, it will become a squared minus x squared. All over x squared, this is a squared minus x squared then, but raised to one half. Okay? So, therefore, uh, these are two similar bases. We have one minus one half. This is this has this, the power of 1. So 1 minus 1 half is uh, 1 half. So our final answer for our, work, for our uh, y prime will now be um, negative square root of a squared minus x squared all over x squared. That is our final answer. So that's it for the video. Thank you for watching.